Hello there and welcome. This is Rattenkrieg Challenge, wherein we issue a challenge, people try and take part in that challenge, and people try and be successful in that endeavour. And the first challenge this week was Jeep only game. Wasn't it Jeep? Yeah, it sure was. And how did you get the name Jeep? Um <clears throat> it's kind of a long story actually. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. By... Yeah, let's just <laughs> it... <laughs> I'm sorry. But basically it boils down to a Jeep killing a Yak Panther. What? Pretty it much. Had the legit Yak Panther kill kill, that's crazy. No, it didn't actually kill it, but it did kind of beat it to its death for a really long time, so but it was back in basic match days and such, so don't you have your avatar as a Yag Panther on some things? Yeah, I use it on Steam. Oh, it all ties I, in I like there. the Yag Panther and I like the Jeep, so. I like it. The myth that is the man that is Jeep is, uh, you know, it has canon. I like it. It's good stuff. Yeah. It's like you're a Game of Thrones character or something. It's good. <laughs> um. So, why is it that you sound like you're in a submarine? Because I am. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. So it's not like anything to do with your mic, it's just that you are in a submarine. I am in a submarine, and I can't really tell why I am, or where I am. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to get back on track here because we've got some excellent games. We had, I've had three replays that I've picked out from everybody, because it was a major success this thing. I, I thought it was, at least. I mean, yesterday we had like two major, two people casting all day, uh, trying to get the, the game, like the holy grail that is, the all Jeep game. Yeah, it was quite entertaining watching some people try, especially Hans, he got, he got quite mad and claimed it couldn't be done, but <laughs> hopefully we'll see someone disprove him. Exactly, yeah, well, he got very mad, and he actually wanted um, some rules broken for him, so to help him out. <laughs> so explain the scenario to his Jeep, what were the rules? Okay, so basically you're, the only rules that really were were you were only allowed to build Jeeps. So that means no extra engineers, no riflemen, and no tanks, anything like that. So basically what we'll probably see everyone do is build a barrack straight up and just spam jeeps. And then we'll see what, they, what they'll do to try and win. Okay, well let's have a look at Pepsi's attempt. Uh, we're at 5 seconds jeep. Yep. On pausing 3, 2, 1, play, five, 6, six seven. 7, 8. Excellent, good stuff. Uh, <laughs> Not to be patronising, um, as I always fail. But uh, here we go. We've got a barracks. It's exciting. Shall we go to yeah. times two at 25 seconds to speed this baby up? Say what? Let's go to times two in, at 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. Barracks complete. As go. But uh, yeah, um, we have versus Panzer Elite this game, and I think it's pretty much the optimal opponent to be versus. Well, factions Definitely. Of Why is that? Why would the Jeep pose more of a threat to Panzer Elite than it would to Wehrmacht? Well, it's Wehrmacht has some more hard counters to the Jeep, at least early game. <clears throat> what uh, Panzer Elite players typically do is uh, go infantry after like, or armored cars, and lobbed up Jeeps can actually kill both. Yeah, I, I like the fact that this Jeep is just gonna absolutely wreck shit up for quite a few minutes of contesting here. The P, the P doesn't have much, she doesn't, you know, against Jeeps straight away. There's no Panzer yeah. Faust or Shreks for a little while anyway. So he's, he's using, obviously he's just going to build as many Jeeps as possible, he's using his first engineer to cap. Would you expect him to get that upgraded and maybe, I don't know, lay some mines? Would you think that? Yeah, I suppose he'll get a flamer as soon as possible, most likely. Well, maybe a, a flamer or he'll put down early mines. It really depends on how aggressive he can go with his jeeps and how oh, much uh, manpower he can bring. I like the way he's pushing all the punch and all the uh, men out of cover. I like it, it's good stuff. <laughs> they just yeah. got abused, that Gewehr squad. Absolutely abused. And of course, the reinforce cost on Panzer Medias is a lot higher than, say, Vogue's. So just killing one man in a Panzer Medias squad sets a Panzer League player. Uh, quite a bit back, actually. And the good thing about Jeeps is they have no reinforced cost. Yeah, other than they have to be repaired now and again, and I do believe it actually puts a small drain on your manpower income in engineers. Oh, really? Would you have? Did you try this strategy, by the way? Did you have a go yourself? Well, not during this competition, no. But I've done it before. And would you have built? Do you reckon building more than one barracks would actually reap dividends or uh, not? No. 
Okay. <laughs> Maybe if you get to. Well, it's no, just no. Just no. The only... Okay. Yeah. And look it at might them. be worth it if it's a really a late game and you have a lot of manpower to float, but you won't get to late game with only cheese. <laughs> so what's he gonna yeah, try he's... and do on the terms of tech tree? Do you reckon he has to get raids straight away or try and get field repairs? Which would you go for straight away? Um, I'd probably try and go raid and then do some BP pressure capping with them. <laughs> I've just realised. <laughs> uh, do you know what I'm doing in this cast? I am doing exactly what I do on my uh, war room cast where I ask like an expert player how he would play this. <laughs> I'm treating it like it's a legitimate kind of strategy, you know. Yeah, but, well, I'd like to try and do a base rush with this, but the problem is he is facing a defensively player, so those flight buildings are just yeah. going to negate that. Definitely, they just tear through light armor, don't they? Yeah, light armor and the engineers trying to plant demos, potentially. <laughs> now it's a Jeep Bukaki, as the uh, engineers get, you know, try and repair them all in a circle. <laughs> And that's AC, and just look at the damage they do, it's just stupid. And we see veterans here. Oh, <laughs> no, oh my god, that's hideous. That is hideous. He's building an OP on the strike, on the uh, cutoff. This is beautiful from Pepsi. But yeah, look, he simply can't really do much with the AC because Focus Fire from Deech really tear it down so quickly. This Panzer Earth player really hasn't adopted very well to what he saw, has he? He's just trying to go for the same P strategy he probably uses in every game. Yeah, well, if he gets enough ACs out without losing some of them, then he can pretty much Pepsi, start killing him. Pepsi's not going to let that happen. No, he isn't. <laughs> oh, and my camera's stuck. Oh. I don't worry, I'll just I'll describe the action. We've seen lots of Jeeps versus uh, armored cars. Uh, the Jeeps killing the armored cars oh, and getting killed. Oh, no, you're still fine. <laughs> I don't know what was up with that. It happens sometimes in my games. It's qu pretty annoying when I'm actually playing the game. But... Ready to roll. Do you know we have a Jeep with four Losing Panzer Elite kills? He's got vet uh -huh. one. Damn. Damn. And yeah, now we have the downtime of having to repair the Jeeps. Yeah, exactly. But the stipulation of one engineer was a little bit harsh, wasn't it? Yeah, two engineers might have eased the burden quite a bit. Oh, he's got raid though now, so he can actually start capping them up. He might be able to count out cap. Yeah. Yeah, because he's trying to cap the, <laughs> the left side now with his jeeps, while he has four other jeeps trying to hold the Panzer League guy off. Are you ready to go times four? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Let's go times four <laughs> on the turn of 11 minutes, okay. Oh, let's see these jeeps in action now. They, they can go roughly 250 kilometers per hour with times four, so... Uh, it just got some new gasoline from the HQ. <laughs> yeah, some nitro gasoline. Yeah. <laughs> this pitch to game me, it wouldn't have mattered if this is times 0.5 or times 4 because all the chips are just stand, standing still. <laughs> We're losing a strategic sector. Oh, the sound of those little 30 cals, I think it is. Oh, the, the Panzer Elite has a Panzer 4 tank now. How is Pepsi yeah, gonna okay. jeep that to death? Well, maybe if he gets 100 jeeps and shoot it in its rear armor, then he might do some damage to it. Yeah, it's like that famous thing, isn't it? A thousand monkeys with typewriters in space could write the works of Shakespeare. Lost a jeep out a thousand there. jeeps what? firing on a panzer for, you know, eternity. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, look at them go. <laughs> I'm gonna try and capture one. Of them. I need to click on it. There we go. Supply oh. lines are broken. <laughs> this is Benny Hill, we so. need Benny Hill music for this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> anti tank after I just went down into the middle. Enemy unit down. We've got the Benny Hill theme on now. <laughs> How far are you going to leave the eye? Pepsi seems to be answering it with even more jeeps. Yeah, that's quite yeah. surprising. <laughs> that he isn't really adapting to anything, but... Um, 
Yeah. Well, he, has if he wants to, to complete the challenge, there. he has to keep with Jeeps, but how's he going to count, count the, the orb? They've destroyed There's our no barracks. And his phone has a verbal window, doesn't it? Yeah. But he is holding, he's holding all three DPs right now. But he is losing his base. At, time, at 20, 20 minutes, hit times two to go back. We have a situation in our base. I am back. There we go. This game's I'm getting a little bit interesting now. I want to see how he managed. Oh my god, he's managing to build a tank depot whilst in the fire from the tank support. He's managing to cheat. Holy crap, he's about, just about repairing it whilst he's getting killed. And here comes the Hellcat. Fast deployment saved the day there. And he has field repairs by the well, and all his peeps. So he might make a big push with the field repair peeps. Our front lines are collapsing. <laughs> the Chiefs just killed an entire Panzer Elite Squad. So yeah, the tank defense so button. little health. Man, the Luftwaffe squad. Wow, they they rape vet veterancy for Chiefs. <laughs> we are losing a sector. Yeah, I think uh, Pepsi said he had to use um, big jeeps with uh, big guns. But I, I, I honestly think we can't give Pepsi you know, I think, uh, although these are big jeeps, I think they're too big for the game. Yeah, they, they, they are. And um, I think I'll spoil the game now. The Panzer Battle Group, according to Kora, the Panzer Battle Group is about to roll, and there it is. And he Hellcats into death with Allied War Machine. Yeah, but War Machine. Oh. I thought he was just going to use his jeeps. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> he's getting serious now. He's got three. He's keeping his Hellcats alive. Yeah, this becomes a serious There's game. Ground out there. Uh, he has enough munitions for field repairs and Allied nice War Machine. So. It's not like it's even close. This Panzer Relief really play is horrible. It's not even focusing on the Hellcats. No wonder Pepsi made a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> But what we saw there was a very good attempt. We we heard Benny Hill's oh, just... music, which made it you know comedic. That was good. But Pepsi does not get the uh, the trophy. The virtual trophy, you know, which the, doesn't really exist. Uh... The Ratten Creek Jeep Championship Invitational winner, two thousand and thirteen, quarter one. Ah, yeah, that one. Yeah, it's on my shelf right now. <laughs> I'm ready to I'm ready to hand it out to whoever wins this. But it's not Pepsi. It is not Pepsi, no. Oh, it's not Pepsi. Well, I have saved three replays, so um, let's continue through our journey and go on to replay two. Yes, but surprisingly, he didn't lose his engineer squad. Okay, I, I'm going to spoil replay two. We'll go on to replay three, I've decided. Um, replay two is from Paper Jeep, who I think had the best effort out of anybody yesterday. I'll include the replay in the description, and you'll be able to watch that at your own leisure. He actually has the best go at it, and he purely uses the strategy. He doesn't mess around. No Hellcats, uh, no anything. He just literally has, it's against a decent opponent. He has a really good go of it. He gets really good late game. But um, so throughout yesterday, we saw people come and go, helping hands, Pepsi, paper plane. Everybody was trying this strap, and we needed somebody, a champion, a hero, somebody with the testicular fortitude to really build jeeps and kill people with those jeeps. And who is that person, Jeep? I do believe it is the Polish Barton. He is Polish, right? I believe so, yeah. I believe so. He does have PL but... at the end of his name, but I used to think that stood for penis lover. But I've yeah, since it's, been told... Yeah, it's quite possible. It is. <laughs> Let's get to five seconds of the third replay. I am there. Oh wow, one step ahead. And Barton seems to be going under the name Adolf Hitler. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that makes sense for Barton. He's notorious for um, things like that, isn't he? For being a Nazi? Um, being more of a troll. Oh, okay. Do you have any fun Barton stories? Everybody's got a Barton story. Uh, no, I don't have any fun Boston stories other than just like 10 minutes ago we were riding all caps in Hans's chat. That's about it. <laughs> uh, he's, he's one of those people people love to hate and hate to love. Oh wait, I do believe I've played a 2v2 with him once. 
Did he As team for you? Uh, yes, he did. Oh wow, he did but, team But uh, <laughs> after I built three uh, 88s next to each other with sandbags and wire and bunkers nearby and such. Oh my. And just camped the middle of the rails and middle, but yeah. Anyway, he's our champion in the dark, and uh, let's see if he manages to pull this off. Um, I'm posing into three. You've already called him the champion. No, he's a champion as though we've pi you know, we need a champion. Ah. Uh, like in Game of Thrones. We don't know if he's going to be. Yeah, exactly. Um, in a Game of Thrones sense, kind of thing. You know? It's like Tyrion Lannister needed a champion, so he picked that dude Bron. with greasy hair. Yep. Yeah. Greasy hair, Bron. And um, Bot and our greasy haired hero. He probably does have greasy hair. But yeah, let's get this on pause then. 3, 2, 1, play. And shall we go to times two at fifteen seconds? Okay. <laughs> um, go. I was fully expecting a full strategical, um, you know, masterclass from Bot, and I was going to watch every second of it. Well, if you want to do that, we can do that. <laughs> no, it's some joking. It's fine. So we've got a cheap building first for Bot, and what do you think at this point? I mean, a lot of expert players tend to use jeeps, but they usually tend to build them after a rifleman or two, don't they? Uh, I actually believe Devem builds it first, but surprisingly enough, we have another jeep queued up right after the first one. Oh wow, and a third jeep! <laughs> <laughs> and high Seems to be this new trend. I don't know oh what's my. going on. Oh god, jeep so big. And he's using he's Oh, just... and we see a. Go right ahead. Dude. Trying to a base rush. Oh. Yeah, with one jeep. He's getting really excited with the jeep spot. Use tactical map a little bit in this one to give a ba you know a greater scope for the jeep's usage. Yeah, they are quite fast and slippery units. They have good range, Difficult don't they? Surprisingly. Them. Yeah, they do. Actually, that one jeep seems to be winning against the Valkyrie and some green cover. That was kind of surprising. So this Wehrmacht guy has got to be thinking, what the living fuck? Noob! He's saying noob! <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's the appropriate response. I suppose so. If you were against someone and you thought they were legitimately this much of a noob to just, you know, think they were playing Command and Conquer or something, you'd be quite excited. I would be, anyway. I would actually be more... You know, well, I would be worried meeting someone who just did something like this, because then it's probably a player who knows what he's doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I suppose Come Heroes is that stage in its life where anybody doing something stupid is probably smurfing. Oh, and we see some beautiful keep pushing now. Yeah, really nice. Very so nice. proud of him. Yeah, he's truly a computer's expert, would you say? And we. <laughs> and he's being called a noob again. I was kind of hoping for the Van Mike player to uh, start spamming bikes as soon as he found out what was going on. Yeah, definitely. That would be. That would be would have been quite interesting. So. Yeah, like a biker gang versus the jeep crew, that'd be good stuff. Creek Sparrow's coming up, a pack would be devastating, like one-shotting all the jeeps. I'm liking the bot and is actually following the rules though. I appreciate that, you know. He, he's yeah. like, you know, he might be like the Joker from Batman, but he does have his own kind of moral code. He does play by... He does play by the rules when he wants to, let's just say that. Yeah, he has played tournaments and stuff before, hasn't he? Yeah, I believe so. But, um, yes, also in recent time, I believe. <laughs> this guy's gotta be thinking, what the fuck? I'm surprised he hasn't actually used any Faust yet. I mean, does he know where the Faust button is, or...? Okay, so he's, he's got the peg out now. Oh, the peg's out, okay, okay. And he actually tried to place a mine right at the end of the hedgerow. But the jeeps interrupted him because he, Barton has really great view range from those. Yeah, Barton was basically seen. Oh no, my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, the pack is one shotting all the jeeps. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's thinking, I am the king of company of heroes. I know counters to jeeps. And I believe he's building a med bunker now. Med bunker. That's famous. Famous uh, counter to jeep spam is med, uh, uh, you know, zombie grounds. Everyone knows that. 
That might be a new uh, efficient strategy against it. Three evokes to uh, tier two and get a pack, and then go and do something. Yeah, now. I believe uh, Seth had used that against Ahini in one of the more famous games from uh, Seth, the Seth. Seth actually, yeah. This rate, we'll be huh. taking Berlin by Christmas. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, no. <laughs> and the pack, the pack's just camming his base, and he's calling him a noob again. He he honestly thinks he's like you know he's playing against the biggest noob in the world, and he's got him he's got him covered now. Yeah, he has a Shrek now, so he probably feels pretty confident he can beat the Jeeps. But Shrek accuracy at uh, Shrek accuracy at long range is pretty horrible. Oh, oh one my deep. god, that Stop. MG oh. Oh. <laughs> And the uh, gunner and driver of the Jeep fly out of it. Thinking the Superman. It's a it's a stupid game. Who you put it team wins at this point? Well, wait, let me change back to Barson's view. Barson does have the pretty good control over the VPs, and I think he'll he's getting great soon. How's he managed to capture so much territory with one engineer? That's pretty impressive, I think. Yeah, he did that early game, and the Dynamic player hasn't been on the right side at all until now. He's just getting picked up by jeeps like from half a kilometer away every time he tries to go. And Bassam build a supply up depot because he obviously needs uh, more manpower income to keep up, uh, keep up the uh, spamming jeeps. Oh, it's amazing how much his uh, manpower has been affected by jeeps. It's 254 at the moment. So they definitely drain manpower. Yeah, well, when you have nothing else to build, then they're quite cheap and such. <laughs> and you start to <laughs> kind of lose them. Okay, but the Basel might be in a bit of trouble if um, his opponent gets fed too on his Grenadiers. Oh my god, he's, he, should those, he should try and take those Vulture Grenadiers down on retreat, I think. Now he's just focusing the medics to get veterans here on his sheets. Observation posts well, this report is, this we are is losing good. a oh, I mean, If he can keep the munitions away from the he's got a really good chance at this. And just look at the cabin going on right now from the Jeeps. Which one would you rather your opponent have fuel or munitions if you had an army of jeeps? If I had a, an army of jeeps, what I want my opponent to have? Yeah, yeah, what would you deny? Um, I would probably try and deny uh, fuel. Demo charges have made yeah, it to I suppose the getting that tech. Oh my god. He's quit. That's not a victory, Barton! That doesn't count. Does it? Does it count? Was... <laughs> Does it count? Well, Is this over? Can we end the ordeal? It is technically an auto match victory, I guess, and he didn't break any rules. Ah, oh, and Barton is a week one winner. Uh, there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry, everybody. Barton was the first person to submit this replay, and he won the game. We lost the game. Come to Heroes is dead. Barton has won something. <laughs> it's all over. It's all over now. Oh, well. Um,. Anyway, that was highly enjoyable, Jeep. I thank you for your time. Hopefully, you can do a more, more well, semi more serious cast in uh, War Room one day, because you know, you know more yeah, than just Jeeps, fun. don't you? Yeah, but um, if I'm going to cast with you in the War Room, I'd probably have to get out of this submarine, which oh. might take some time. <laughs> I think the submarine. I'm still, fun. I'm still way off coast. <laughs> it has some charm to it. And uh, let me just quickly put my lovely picture back on whilst I talk about the next episode. The next episode will be... Hang on, I've got a fun idea. I've got a very fun idea. Let me do something funny. Okay, you're going to choose the next episode, Jeep. I'm going to write oh, yeah. down a few options here. With my um, unactivated Oh, version. damn. I know, yeah, I know. Do I get a prize or something for... Picking the most... well, is that a correct one? I don't know, dude. I do not know. Oh, exciting. Talk, talk, Jeep. Um, talk about uh, Game of Thrones. You like that. I like Game of Thrones. And you most definitely don't like Game of Thrones because you believe it's written by a pedophile. <laughs> not just...
just for that but, reason. But uh, I don't know if it's appropriate to go into that conversation about... Okay, let's yeah. talk about something else. Uh, what's the furthest you've ever gotten in the Company of Heroes tournament, Jeep? Uh, the furthest? Uh, is second place. I don't recall it ever winning a tournament. But okay. I did get Maybe second, second place. Um, Malum, or Malum, or however it's pronounced. It was way back in a Blackstone Division tournament. Uh, Blackstone Division was a clan, I believe Change was clan leader, and I was a member of, and we hosted some tournaments. And Malam and I ended up in the finals in, on uh, best of three online. Yeah. And this was way back, so there wasn't really that big of a focus on snipers, as far as I recall. And all three games lasted like one hour. One hour. Yeah, we were really, really close in, on skill level and pretty much used the same strategy, so it was terror and infantry. Terror Armor and wasn't infantry really just popular. seems to be like the love story of Company of Heroes, it's always been there. Yeah, until Armor Doctrine has suddenly become, uh, not Doctrine, Company, has become quite popular. Okay, but Chief, yeah. I've decided. I've decided for us. Um, I really wanted Aww. it to be this. I was going to give a choice. Um, give me a choice. Um, okay, you've got a choice. And if it's not the right choice, you can pick. Right, pick A, B, or C. 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 So you want the Brit Demo Rush time trial? Oh, what a choice! <laughs> That seems legit. It was totally legit. I, I, I there were totally I've made three a options. Decision, yeah. um, you've made this decision, and thank you for that. The Brit Demo Rush time trial is where you annihilate your opponent in auto match in the quickest time possible using Brit demos. The, I'm going to leave it as open ended as that, but you have to do it in as short a time as possible. Um, brownie points if it's against somebody that actually knows what they're doing. It can be um, t I don't know if 2v2 counts, if you want to do it in 2v2 by all means, the more replays the merrier, I'll yeah, that's what we're going to do. Thanks for watching guys.